Hey, right, welcome back. Quit playing with some flaps because I'm sick and tired of cleaning crap up beside the van, but also my side bars or my skid bars or whatever they call them. Painted them all up about six months ago and then wrapped the paint and they're just getting hammered with the paint and that. I mean, look at this picture. That was just one weekend that. It went minging. So I'm fitting these. Simple mod, easy, and dilute mint. I mean, just check these out. That's an easy set of bars. And you look at the RSM ones. Stick out just a touch, keep the back end clean. Very sweet. Not too obtrusive. They look nice. So let's get these other side fitted. So in true Jonesy fashion, right, I start doing a job. And look, the heavens open up again. I think I need to move to a, another country where it's a bit drier, a bit warmer. I'll probably mourn then that it never rains. Every time I do a job, I'm sweating my tits off because it's dead hot. But anyway, let's get these front ones on. So we'll start off with whipping this steering wheel around. You see these, it just gets peppered on it. You get some cool brackets with the set. Obviously, Front ones and then back ones, different styles. You get your fitting kits with it, which is a result. And you get these, um, everything's sogging. You get these little steel bars, and I'll show you them in a minute for the back ones. But the front ones, pretty much straightforward, really. So your front ones, basically, the smaller versions, just tuck in in there, just nice. On that. And then you look where your mounting points are, and basically that just mounts to them. Right, so we'll get these whipped off. And you'll reuse these mounting points anyway. I don't think my camera's going to work well in this weather. Honestly, every time I do something, it lashes down. I think nearly every video I've done, it chucks it down. Even where the man said it's blowing over. Mm. I think that was an error about that. Right, so we've got our four originals out and then just line bracket up on there just like so and that'll bend the actual rubber as well when you put the bracket on so i'll get the top one on first put that pull that through it all screw this one back in oh i think we're coming down thick and fast now it's rain don't know what proof this will be under there Let's stash it at the back there. Yeah. Right, so we've got one in anyway. Screw that up a bit. I won't go in all the way with that one. Right, my next mounting point is that little bad boy. This way you just have to bend this plate a bit. Get a screw through. And then with them in there in a touch and then my third one is this bottom section here just make sure that one's lined up just tighten the bad boys up because I don't want this thing flying off do we And then, in the front pack, you get a spur screw. All marked up clear. And that one comes with like a plastic washer bit. And there. I'll just bang that straight through. Do you know, if you're on the other side, it'll be all right. You put me on now. And this side, just punching on. Base of that just up, tucks it up. I'll pinch another cap out of that one. So that's pretty much it for the front one. For some reason, the man one doesn't come with a fourth. It says it's got four mounting points there, but this only comes with three. It's the same on the other side as well. So I'll just nick one out to the rear one there. 
put on there because you do get a couple of spurs at your pack and pretty much that's it you've got to make sure it's all curved in and it's all curved away from the, the wheel there you go just stop getting shite up here it's got a nice curve is it man let's get that back one done that one's a little bit more involved in it not too much but a little bit so we'll get on that one so for these rear ones right what you do you take the top two screws in or whatever you want to call them and then you use them and there's nothing else then to mount it to on the actual van so you have these christmas tree things so basically it's just a christmas tree right that goes through the bracket and then the washer then goes on the back of it and it pushes on and locks it up but what i don't what i've done on this one is put the bracket on the actual mud flat before you you know you put your two main points on and only put the middle one on with that one because of the mistake i made on the other side i did the other side which is the back edge here on that one and basically you've got to put that silver bracket on and bend it to it and that just gives it more structure because you can see it's quite wafty now it's not as solid so i'll do that one later so let's get under now now i did record me putting that on also i thought but i forgot to put pleasure cards in there like an idiot so for this one we need a racket that's going to attach to the bodywork Oh my god, I think I've just leaned in a puddle. So that's going to attach to the bodywork and then onto that, so... Let's give that a bend, roughly about there. And then that'll mount to that rubber. A bit too far, actually. So let's go back a bit, touch that one. That'll mount to the bodywork and then that will then give that mud flap a bit of support then you know what I mean yeah so I can get my Christmas tree push that through bracket through there this is where you need about three hands now stick that on Sure that bracket's up there somewhere. And then get your washer and just push the washer on. Like that. Tight. Now we can mark up the bodywork on where you want this to mount so on it roughly about there. So I'll get my drill. I'm gonna find it. Or I've stashed it. <coughs> Can't believe it's just stopped raining. Honestly. It's a bit drill. Straighten your, uh, your flap up. <coughs> get a screw and a washer. These come with the pack, you see, but I've not used the original ones. I've used a bit, something a bit substantial. Get me all. Where we want it. And send it all. <laughs> Make sure you clean all the shit off under here. No, you have it. It's that bracket. You can bend it, straighten it up. No, you have it. That makes your flap solid. Yeah, probably. Uh clean your arches before you um, send it on like that. That's what they're covered in it. There you have it, rear arch, done. Front arch, done. Simple. Now that is a simple mod. We're no messing on this one. Right, see you on the next one.